Hey guys, in this tutorial video, we're gonna be looking at how to use the Regal DS 1052 e oscilloscope. First, I'll be going to show to you the overview of the scope as well as the initial setup and calibration of the probe. So here's the overview of the scope. On the top, we have the handle. On the left side, we have the power input. On the back, we have the USB device port, the RS-232 port, and the pass-fail output port. On the right side is the fan, and on the bottom, we have the stand. Now, let's look at the buttons of the scope. The buttons are organized as follows. Starting from the right top corner, we have the two run control, Next is the menu buttons and the multi-function knob. On the middle, we have the menu buttons for the screen, vertical controls, horizontal controls, and the trigger controls. On the bottom, we have the probe compensation, the external trigger input, the signal input channel, and the USB host. So, let's turn on the scope. To make sure that everything is set to factory default, press storage. Then select waveform. Using the multi-function knob, scroll down to factory and click to select. Then press load. Let's take a look at the parts of our probe. It consists of retractable input tip and the ground lid. On the center, we have the attenuation switch, which can be switched from 1x, which is on the top, and 10x on the bottom. For our application, we will be using 10x. On the top of the switch, we have the built-in capacitor, which is used to calibrate the probe. Finally, at the end of the probe is the BNC connector, which is used to connect our scope. Let's connect it now to channel 1. We're going to connect the probe to the built-in square wave. First, the ground lead is connected to the ground, and the input lead to the input square wave. Now, select channel 1. Then, click on probe and select 10x. Then, click auto to display the input. We can turn off the channel 2. Once you see a square wave, you are done with the setup. Repeat the process for channel 2. Now, let's gonna talk about the vertical and horizontal controls of the scope. The color red on the run stop button indicates that the scope is not reading the input channels. This also indicated on the screen. Press auto to display the input square wave. The color of the channel tells you which channel is on. On the screen, you'll notice the tag here which tells you where the zero ground reference is with respect to the signal. This tells the voltage division. Currently, I am at 100 millivolt division. This means that every division you see on the screen will represent 100 millivolts. To change the voltage division, you can turn this knob. Turning it counterclockwise will decrease the voltage division, and turning it the other way will increase the voltage division. For a finer control of the voltage division, just click the knob first and then turn. For the vertical position of the signal, turn this knob. The position indicator will tell you how far your signal has moved with respect to the ground reference. If you want to bring your signal back to the center, just click the position knob. The horizontal control allows you to control the time axis. 
To demonstrate the horizontal controls, I'll pause the scope. I am at time division of 500 microseconds. To change the time division, turn this knob. To move your signal, turn this knob. The tag up here tells you how far you move from your initial reference. To zoom in, just click the big knob. You can expand or retract to a specific region by turning the knob. You can move the region by turning the position knob. Just click again the knob if you want to go back to normal. Next, we're gonna talk on how to measure and display data on the scope. Now, I will use two channels so that you can see what it's like to work with both channels. Here, I'm using a function generator for the second channel with a frequency of approximately 2 kHz. Once it's connected, press the auto button. Both of the waveforms will be shown together on the screen. The yellow waves are from channel 1 which is indicated here and the blue sine wave is from channel 2. To display useful data, click the measure button. This will bring up the side menu. To measure, press voltage. You can choose on what to measure by using the multifunctional knob and press it. That measurement will be displayed on the bottom. You can also measure time properties such as period and frequency. To clear all measurements, just click the clear button. If you want to display all measurements in a channel, click the display button. You can switch channel by pressing this button. So that concludes my tutorial video about the Regal DS1052E oscilloscope. Hope you learned some basic about the scope.